So by now, no doubt most of you have probably heard of the Libra currency that they're touting, okay? A digital currency. Facebook is essentially debuting, getting away from the word cryptocurrency. They say they want to put currency back in cryptocurrency. Also, they're getting away from cryptocurrency, at least the terminology, because it's, you know, a wash with all kinds of stuff on the back end. Um, I'm, inherently, I'm not imposed, uh, opposed to something like this, but I think that it's just another marker on this tick towards a cashless society, which inherently, that inherently, has a lot of pitfalls uh, because there's too much really that can happen when we're talking about a cashless society. You, just, you take more power out of the hands of the people by putting it into these these companies, these businesses, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I shudder to think what we'll see you know, for example, there was that clip that I played not long ago, um, you know, a guy who was jaywalking in Nan Chan and then 20 to 30 seconds later gets a, a fine on his WeChat, which is just like a, you know, a financial app. And it's like, that's incredible. You know, you walk across the street, you get recognized by facial recognition, and then your financial repercussion gets taken out of your monetary app within seconds. All of a sudden, the cops come and stop well, you. Well, you got... You jaywalked and you had facial yeah, recognition. Well, you, you this. Thing, I actually got this. Yeah, so I was, I was uh, jaywalking in Nanshan and all of a sudden I got a fine to my, my, my WeChat. How, was it instant? It, it was it was uh, about two, 20, 20 seconds after, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And because I had money in my balance, it just went straight out. And this is just the most incredible thing. You didn't even, it just came straight out. Didn't even authorize and it. And that was incredible. That's crazy. Okay, that's one of the dangers I, I could see this going down. This, this trend towards a cashless society where power is out of the hand of the people no matter what you think okay and I know that there's there again there's a lot of ups and downs uh, I'm not inherently opposed to this I'm just more cautious of the trajectory that these things put us on because a lot of times we don't scrutinize something until well really until it's too late or we start to see it impacting us in a detrimental fashion and I don't think that's outside the context of these uh, of the cashless society okay I think that's just going to be essentially another mechanism of control that they can implement and basically stripping more away from the people but uh, aside from that this, this isn't what this video is going to be about i mean hey I, I like to talk about a few things and if you happen to pick up some news along the way uh, all the more right uh, all the more better for you but i just wanted to get my ideas out on that i i'm not again i'm not inherently opposed to it i could just see it trending in a way that is could impact us uh, detrimentally and you know, the, the, the governments, these businesses, these companies, do they really, do they have our safety in mind? Do they have, you know, what's best for the folks in mind? No, no. And, and that's no big secret, right? It's no big secret that the powers that shouldn't be, uh, they angle and jockey for things that put power into their hands and take power out of ours. Okay, that's why, you know, America, the United States, we're just one big corporation. Okay, like I said, what China does through governments and stuff like that, uh, America tends to do through uh, businesses and corporations. And anything that America wants, it's typically, uh, they, they typically jockey themselves or position themselves for it through leverage takeovers and buyouts. And then you see this, the, the scales start to tip into the hands of the folks with the money and the power, and then it's the common citizen, the long-suffering taxpayer, that always ends up taking on the chops. All right, and I think that a growing number of people—it's—it's it's growing, but it's growing, you know, by inches and by a crawl. Okay, a growing number of people are sort of waking up to the reality that they have controllers, their governments, okay? And, I mean, there's protests all around the world, okay? You know, Hong Kong and things that have been happening in Venezuela. Just pick your incident. All across the pond, you know, there's, there's turmoil. I, I think things are trending in a direction where folks slowly are starting to begin to realize what's going on, that their controllers, right, their governments don't have their best interests at heart, and they're basically positioning themselves for as much control over the people as possible. All this stuff is about money, power, and control, and when you look at it, the New World Order has its tentacles in almost every major nation uh, in a way that makes it easier for this agenda to just keep pushing forward and I think that's because you know they're pacifying the masses they're dumbing them down and they don't want them thinking about things and by they I mean those who stir the drink they don't want the citizens thinking about things outside of the 
context that they prepare for us. They don't want a nation of thinkers, you know, they want a nation of workers. These are folks who, they don't want dissent. They don't want people coming together in a, in a, in a meaningful way that might influence some change. They don't want that. So they have one campaign after another to make sure that we just, we're just placated. We're just pacified. And unfortunately, we fall for that. So we have all these political situations happening around the world. America isn't necessarily in the best political situation itself. And those subtleties and nuances are what leaks into the lives of the everyday person in a way where let's just take a look at what's happening with the Chinese trade war. American citizens are being impacted now. Things are going up. I mean, from food, appliances, you know, cars, you name it, things are going up. And it's like, do you really think this stuff is going to go back? I don't think this stuff is going to go back. Again, it's like a can of Pringles. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. This stuff is poised to stay with us. And we're just going to keep, just keep accepting it.